Hola chicos, ahora empezamos con el capítulo 2. Pueden creerlo. Already, Ron, chapter 2. This session goes so, so, so fast. And I'm really pleased so far with the hard work you are putting into it and that you are really working to keep up with all of the work and not let yourself get bogged down or behind. Um, I'm assuming that's what's happening anyway since um, I haven't had a lot of postings in the general discussion forum about concerns and questions. I've only had a few email messages here and there um, about getting work done. And so I'm guessing that we're doing pretty well so far. I know it's only the second week, we're only going into the second chapter, but if you're keeping up with it now, then it's easier to continue to keep up with it throughout the rest of our session. So let's keep going with this, right? You have such great support in this class. Not only do you have Profe, but you also have our SI leader, Erica, and you have our CA, um, Brennan, and so, Take advantage of us. Make use of everything we are offering. My contacts, you know, get in touch with me if you need anything. I am always happy to meet with students via Adobe Connect or via Skype. You have so many opportunities for um, SI sessions, for conversation hours. And studies have shown that SI and conversation hours help you to improve not only your grade but also your language skills exponentially so do as much as you can i know it's a lot we have a lot going on in such a short session um but we have a lot of help also so capítulo dos in capítulo dos um remember always to read through all the modules because i may miss things in this video i'm not perfect and this time i didn't write down my trusty little list next to me so we're learning vocabulary wise we have adjectives of nationality learning to talk about where you're from what your background is um we will be learning the structure of verbs so a r e r and i r verbs um and then the verb tener which is used in many different ways so um in this case in this chapter we'll be learning it in terms of have to so tener is to have but you'll be learning it as to have and to have to in, in order to have to do something we will also be learning how to tell time um, and learning how to ask questions so ask positive questions ask negative questions how to create negative sentences and then of course as a part of asking questions you learn interrogative words right who, what, how, where, when, why. So we'll be learning those structures and those words in Spanish. Culture-wise, we'll be studying España with this chapter, so make sure you do the culture as well. Work-wise, pretty much the same. The difference is with capítulo 2, in addition to, of course, the videos that are in the modules, the Michel Tomás, which I really hope you're all practicing with, um, the e-text and the My Spanish Lab homework, the uh, composition posts and responses to other students. You do have your first film in this chapter. This film is a U.S. Hollywood film. It's in English, but it has a lot of Spanglish, which hence the title, Spanglish. Um, and it's a great cultural film because it makes you think about language learning and you can compare the language learning going on in that film to your own experience with language learning which can be lots and lots of fun okay so we have the film you have your first opportunity with capitulo dos to submit duolingo extra credit if you've been working in duolingo it's not required but it is a great way to bump up your language skills if you want to do it um, the information is in the modules on how to do that. You will submit a screenshot of your progress in order to get extra credit. And then we have our first exam at the end of this unit. 
I know it seems really, really quick, but there are three exams, one after every two chapters. And so at the end of chapter two, it's time for the first exam. So especially with this chapter, attending SI and attending conversation hours and making sure you do all of the My Spanish Lab homework is super duper important. Now, just a note on contacting me for the next week or so, and I will send you reminders about this. I am actually going to be out of the country again. Um, I will be gone from May 30th, and I will be back on June 6th. Um, so I'm going to be out for the second part of Capitulo 2 and the beginning of Capitulo 3. Um, I'm actually going away for attending a wedding of a colleague, and um, so... I won't be available by text, but I will be checking email every single day. You can email me. We could still arrange to speak via Skype. Um, we could, as long as we set up a time, arrange to speak via my office phone number because I can access that through my computer. So I will still most definitely be in contact. I will be online every day. I will check email every day, I will check on course every day, but just be aware, I won't be as glued to the computer as I am when I am working on regular days during the summer. So be patient. If it takes me just a couple of hours to get back to you, please know that I will get back to you. And remember, you always have Erica and Brennan to ask questions of as well. So if you need an answer right away, you're feeling a little panicked, especially while you're taking your exam, okay, um, you can always contact them as well. And remember, I just if you text me, it's going to be sitting on my phone until I get back because I don't have international service on my cell phone. So really email or even leaving me a message on my office phone because I can access that via my computer, those would be the better ways to reach me or posting an on course. Of course, you can always post an on course. Um, so this chapter is fun. It's fun to be able to talk about yourself. It's fun to be able to talk about a little bit of background and learning verbs is fun because all of a sudden you can really start to form sentences and start to work with the language. So I hope you enjoy this chapter and of course, find me, seek me out if you have any questions. Adios.